Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, the King of Kings, the God of Gods, the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the ending of all things. Morning Christ coming to you from Save the World, a Christian ministry with a divine mandate to set the captives free and give sight to the blind by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Dr. Baba Tokpe Babalubi. By the grace of God, we shall be continue our series on the character of God. The character of God. And the purpose of this series is for us to know God better, to know His character, so that we can pattern our life and our ways in line with His character. Genesis chapter 6, I read verse 7 and verse 13. Verse 7 says, And the Lord said, I will destroy man who have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. Verse 13 says, And God said to unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with all the earth. Now, God created the heavens and the earth. That is the first thing we we read about in the bible in genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth if you just read few chapters in the bible before we read uh, chapter 7 in the beginning again god destroyed the heavens and the earth so god the creator is also god the destroyer god who creates is also the god who destroys why will God destroy the work of his hand? Why will God destroy all the things that he enabled to create, that he spent six days to create? He created all animals, he created man, he created woman. In one day he decided to destroy everything. Why will God do that? It's because of the violence of the head, it's because of the wickedness of man, it's because of the disobedience of man. But it's interesting to know that God, the Creator, is also God, the Destroyer. God, that created all things, also destroyed everything. So God can create and God can destroy. And I pray for you that God will not destroy you. What we do that we cause God to say, I, it, I repented that I created you. It will not happen in Jesus' mighty name. The sin that you put your fingers in, the sins that you put your legs in, that God will say, I regretted that I created you. It shall not happen to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God decided to destroy all flesh because of the sins of man. God decided to destroy all things on the surface of the head because of the wickedness of man. So, we must be conscious that the God that we are serving, we cannot toy with Him. You must be conscious that the God that we are serving, that we must obey Him. Otherwise, His other side, His destructive side will show. And my prayer is that His destructive, his destructive side shall not show unto you in Jesus' mighty name. God is a destroyer. He destroy wickedness. He destroy bad, bad things. When all flesh was filled with violence and wickedness, he destroyed everything. But if God is going to destroy anything in your life, what God will destroy is poverty in Jesus' mighty name. God will destroy sicknesses in your life. He will destroy diseases in your life. He will destroy cancer in your life. He will destroy failure in your life. You will destroy the crisis in your marriage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will destroy failure in your businesses. He will destroy stagnancy in your businesses. He will destroy rejection in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He will destroy every wars of darkness in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He will destroy the wars of the enemy in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will destroy sin in your life. God is a, is a destroyer. And as you walk unto him and cry to him, he will destroy the works of Satan. He will destroy the work, work of the forces of darkness in your life. He will destroy sin. He will destroy nightmares. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We destroy satanic cages and witchcraft bondages that are keeping you stagnant. We destroy every enchantment, every divination that is working against your glory. That is what God is going to destroy your life. And for him to do that, you need to walk in holiness and righteousness. God will not destroy you. He created you. He will not destroy you. Stand with God. He will not destroy you. He will keep you and cause you to fulfill your destiny. May we destroy every power that is blocking your progress. We destroy your Pharaoh. He will destroy your Herod. He will destroy your Goliath. He will destroy your Hamas. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That shall be your testimony. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.